hey guys, good luck for your second chemistry exam today. Um, there are a few lessons that we've learnt from the other one. Um, I've been saying it lots and lots and lots, but practicals are so, so important. They're going to be 15% of your exam, so make sure that you're writing down your risk assessments, make sure you're paying attention to your grass, make sure um, that you're paying attention to sneaky little things that they're putting in there, like um, changing axes or changing units. Balancing equations is something that they they love and if you really 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 can't work it out then write down two because 90% of the time that is the answer anyway and then the last thing we need to remember that 20% of this exam is going to be maths now it could be chemistry maths like totation calculations or it could be maths maths and if it is maths maths don't let it throw you and um, what they're going to do is they're going to put a load of words in there um but it's just really a load of words hiding a maths question so this is where you need to get your highlighter pens out highlight the important bits of information within um the question and see is it a science question or is it just a maths question and i know this throws loads and loads of people when we have just like a pure maths question in a science paper but don't let it throw you. You are good at maths, you can do this. And then we know from the previous exams that we need to expect the unexpected. So we know there's gonna be something weird in this exam. Um, don't let it worry you too much. Don't let the fact that there's something weird in there put you off, throw you, make the rest of the questions harder. Um, good luck guys, we are so, so close to the end. I am gonna be stressing my way through the exam with you. Um, and I'm desperate, absolutely desperate to know how you get on. So please, please, please come back after the exam. Put how you did in the comments below if there are any really tricky, nasty questions. Um, try and describe the questions as fully as you can. And then hopefully as a group we can all work out the answer. Um, so fingers crossed guys. Um, good luck.